All right, this really is to clear up uh, misinformation that's been going around about these two particular herbs, which one is called Aram Goat Dash Along and the other is called the Damiana. The Aram Goat Dash Along is this herb right here. Also known as the uh, Ram Goat Dash Long aka or the scientific name that is called Ternera Humifolia. Alright, first things first to identify the Ram Goat Dash Along and to know the difference between the Ram Goat Dash Along and the Damiana is the leaves. Okay, this is my index finger. Now you see where the first joint at? That's about a, an inch. Okay, I'm gonna use it as a reference. And see, that's what we're looking at. That's how big the Ram Goat Dash Along leaves are. Also, another way of identifying this herb, you rub, you you rub the leaves like that and you smell it you got a sage a pungent smell like sage and also this is called I think they call it rose sage or whatever but you got a pungent smell like sage so you can't miss it you grow a flower actually this is like an old one but the flower on it is like a five five leaf clover looking or shaped flower also let's see here I'm gonna run through briefly some of the mes uh, medicinal benefits of this plant here the ram goat dash along and see um, this is habitat Eumifolia is a small woody shrub native to Mexico, Central America, and the Caribbean. And also anywhere in a tropical, where you know it's like tropical area, it grows pretty good. I mean, I'm sure it can grow in a subtropic area also, because where I'm living at is a little subtropic. And um, the, if you drop below like uh, 30 degrees, I mean, it's going to suffer some frostburn but okay parts used and usage the leaves make teas to help ease symptoms of constipation and diarrhea colds flu menstrual cramping heart palpitations ear loss thrush and other conditions that's just a brief rundown of what it can be used for and I'm certain it's anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory and all that stuff. So that's the Ram Goat Dash Along. Now we're going to move over to where the Damiana plant at. It's a very small one. I'm trying to root it. And uh... I got this, got some cuttings recently. This, let me see if I can focus this stuff here. Come on. This is the Damiana plant, otherwise known as Turan, uh, Tur Turnera Diffuser. And if you look, I'm going to use my index finger as a reference on the leaves. see that's the that's how big those leaves get there's they are not as big as the ram goat dash along and people keep mistaking are selling the ram goat dash along for damiana and it's not damiana this little plant here is damiana it grows a little bigger it grows like a big shrub whenever it's you know grown in the wild but the leaves does not, not get no bigger than this. So this is Ram Goat. No, not Ram, sorry. Ram, not Ram Goat Dash Along. But this is Damiana. 
and see that's how big the leaves are another way of identify the damiana band here is to do the same thing you rub your finger on the leaves when you smell it you got a minty lemon smell or minty sweet smell smell to it and when it when the leaves are dry it's even more stronger so they smell different they also have different medicinal properties and I'm gonna briefly go through that let me see where I documented these things so the Damiana is wild shrub that grows in Mexico Central America and the West Indies the leaves and stems are used to make medicine historically it was used mostly to increase sexual desire as an aphrodisiac Damiana is used to treat headaches, bedwetting, depression, nervous stomach, and constipation. And you see, and also used to prevent sexual problems, boosting and maintain f mental and physical stamina, and as an Afro aphrodisiac. So this plant here, the Damiana, is an uh, aphrodisiac, but not the ram goat dashalon according to what I'm reading and also I have a yellow flower which is much smaller in size but this just started to bloom so oh yes I just want to clear that up and put a video out there because there's no one with a video out there actually showing the difference and the videos that I saw online, they're mistaking the ram goat dash along for this plant here, the Damiana. And it's not. And it caused people be, to be selling other folks the wrong thing and people to buy the wrong thing that don't have no idea of what the plant look like or smell like. And no way of identifying it. So I hope this video clear that up and also help others to actually identify this, both of these herbs properly. Alright, thank you.